Welcome to EPG Pathshala. Today we will discuss the module Applied Ecology. The name of the modules is Introduction to Ecology Part 1. Ecology is the branch of biology that deals with the interrelationship of organisms with another organisms and the physical environment. The term ecology was coined in 1866 by a German zoologist Ernst Haeckel. They and derive it from the Greek word oikologi means house or environment and logos means to study. Hence ecology is an interdisciplinary science in incorporating biology, geography, bioscience. Or simply it is the study of the biota and its physical environment and the interaction between them. Bionomics refers to the interaction between a particular organism and its environment or interaction between a flora and a fauna and its physical environment. Whereas, ecosystem on the other hand emphasizes the transfer of the materials and energy within the organisms or between the organisms and the environment. Habitat is an ecological area or environmental area where an organism stays. Learning outcomes. After reading this chapter, you will be able to understand and define and explain the basic concept of ecology and its structure, the properties and functions to maintain the stability in order to act positively towards the environment, to study the ecological hierarchy, to differentiate between syn ecology and autoecology, and to understand the concept of ecosystem and the various type of habitats. An organism's environment is made up of living or biotic and a non-living or abiotic component. Here in the table 1, we summarize the components of an ecosystem. The abiotic components are sunlight, temperature, precipitation, water or moisture or humidity, soil or water chemistry, example we have phosphorus or ammonium etc. Biotic components include primary producer, herbivore, carnivore, omnivores, detritivores etc. Figure 1 also shows the components of the ecology where the ecology is divided into population and ecosystem. Group of population forms the community, community interact in an ecosystem, community and uh, species together forms the population, species stays in a habitat and this habitat is a part of an ecosystem. Historical perspective, ecological thoughts were reflected in ancient Indian writings like Vedic, Epic, Puranic, etc., which describe the importance of Vayu, the air, Jal, water, Desha, topography, and Kal time. Greek scholars like Aristotle, Hippocrates, Theophrastus, etc., also describe the interrelationship between organisms and their environment. Some of the scientists with their important contributions are discussed below. Warren A. V. Humboldt in 1804 explored the tropical and temperate South America and published 26 volumes based on the data collected by him. Alfred R. Wallace published three books titled first book the Malaya Archipelago, second the geographical distribution of animal, third the island life. Geoffrey St. Hilaire in, in 1859 first used the term ethology to refer the study of relationship of organism with their environment. St. George Jackson Milward proposed the term hexicology to refer the study of organism with their relation to environment regarding the nature of locality, temperature and amount of light that best suit them and also their relation with other organisms as enemies, rivals or accidental and involuntary benefactors. Rieter in 1868 first introduced the term oikology the, to describe the interrelationship that exists between organism and environment. Ernst Haeckel 1869 was the first German biologist who was credited to have coined the term ecology and used it widely in his literature. He also precisely described and gave the definition of the term ecology. 
L.C. Sanfner and Kerner introduced for the first time the plant communities as an aspect of ecology. Carl Mobius in 1877 described the animal communities. Schroeter and Kirchner in 1896 introduced the term scenicology. McFadden in 1957, a British biologist laid down the principles governing the relationship of plants and animals and their relations to environment. K. Frederick in 1958 defined ecology as, I quote, the science of living beings as members of the whole of nature, unquote. F. Froster Darling in 1963 defined ecology as, I quote, the science of organism in relation to the total environment and the interrelationship of organisms interspecifically and between themselves, unquote. A. G. Tansley in 1935 introduced the term ecosystem and led to the development of concepts of productivity and a nature of energy relations in ecology, which is now referred to as bioenergetic approach. Now the principal step of ecology, first reception of energy, next manufacture of the organic food by the producer, next the consumption of the organic matter by the consumers and then the composition of two organic compounds. And lastly, transformation of these compounds into a suitable compound for the nutrition of the producers. Ecological hierarchy. Ecological hierarchy is the organization at several levels in an ascending order of complexity from a simple individual and culminate to a more complex biosphere. Figure 2 and 3 shows the ecological level of organization where each level is formed of the components of the lower level. Understanding all the levels of the ecological organization in an ecological hierarchy is important to study a complete ecosystem. Behavior corresponding to a higher levels occurs at the slower rate while that at the lower organizational level exhibit a rapid rate. Figure 2 shows the ecological level of organization where the biotic components at the top and abiotic components in the middle and a biosystem at the bottom. Example, gene which is the biotic component plus the abiotic component matter and energy forms the biosystem called genetic system. Figure 3 shows the levels of ecological organization where organisms combine to form a population, many population living in a place, community stays in an ecosystem and the ecosystem of the whole world is called as the biosphere. The different levels and the important terms of the ecological organization are given as follows. Individual organism. Individual organism is the basic unit of the ecological hierarchy being a distinct living entity continuously exchanging materials and information with its immediate environment and carrying out all the processes in its body completely separated from the other individuals. Population is a group of individuals of the same species living together in a common area at a particular given time. The study of the population is called as demography. Population can be of different types. We have local population which refers to the different populations of the same kind of the organisms. Ecotype which refers to the members of the local population which may be genetically adapted to their specific environment. Themes, it refers to the subgroup of the population in any given geographical area living in close interaction with each other and mainly breed among themselves. Community or biotic community is a group of the population of different species which live in a particular area that interact with each other through mutualism, predations, competition, etc. and form communities. Ecosystem is a fundamental unit of ecology consisting of biological community and its a physical environment, both interacting, resulting in the absence of both material and energy. 
Hence, it is also called as the most dynamic of all levels. Landscape is a unit of land distinguished by natural boundary and having patches of different ecosystems. Biome is a large regional unit delimited by a specific climate zone having a particular major vegetation zone and its associated fauna example the tundra desert, temperate deciduous forest, tropical rainforest, oceans etc. Biosphere is the biologically inhabited, inhabited part of the earth along with its physical environment consisting of lower atmosphere, land and the water bodies. Here we in figure 4 we the, uh, the it shows uh, the flow chart for the subdivisions of ecology where the ecology can be divided into three types this one is on the taxonomic affinities on types of habitats and levels of organization according to taxonomic affinities it can be divided into plant ecology and animal ecology plant ecology like pine ecology and oak ecology, animal ecology like bacterial ecology, insect ecology, fish ecology, avian ecology. The types of habitat depending on the types of the habitat the ecology can also be divided like coral reef ecology, marine ecology, estuarine ecology, freshwater ecology, grassland ecology, forest and desert ecology. Levels of organization here we can divide them into two, one is the autoecology and a syndicology which will be described in the subsequent slides. Subdivisions of ecology, the ecology can mainly be divided into two types uh, called autoecology and syndicology. Autoecology deals with the ecological study of organism of a species throughout its life in relation to the ecological factors like the life history, population dynamics, behavior, home range, etc. It focuses on a particular organism with the purpose of seeing how it fits into the general ecological picture. Example, relationship of an oak tree to, to its environment. Synecology deals with the ecological studies of a communities or entire ecosystem focusing on groups of organisms in relation to its environment which are associated together as a unit unfolding the overall energy and material flow through the system. Example, we have the studies of the forest, tropical forest or a desert. In the word of the Herat II in 1977, I caught the two types of the study, autoecology and syndicology are interrelated. The syndicologist is painting with a broad brush the outline of the picture, whereas the autoecologist is stroking in the finer details, unquote. Table 2 shows the differences between syndicology and the autoecology. Autoecology. It is the study of an organism or a species or a population in relation to its environment. Synecology, it is the study of the group of organisms or many species or communities in relation to the environment. Autoecology, it is occasionally referred to as the population ecology. Synecology, it is also referred to as the community ecology. Autoecology, it is a comparatively simple experimental and inductive. Synecology, it is more complex, ph ph philosophical and deductive. Autoecology, laboratory set of studies can be done using the conventional mathematical tools to interpret the data. Synecology, since it is more naturally formed system involving interaction lasting over hundreds of years, hence cannot be accommodated in a lab set up. Autoecology, the study is at the level of an individual, a population or an entire species. Synecology, the study is at the highest level of the biological organisms, many population in an area or a community interacting with each other and the environment like ecosystem. Example of the autoecology, the study of a deer population in relation to its environment involving factors like rainfall, hunting, lion population etc. in a grassland ecosystem. Example of the scene ecology is the study of the entire forest ecosystem comprising all the species of the communities. 
Now ecosystem and habitat. An ecosystem contains many habitats, but it is the basic dynamic and a complex nature and a functional eco ecological unit of living organism and the environment. A habitat is an ecological area inhabited by a particular species living in an ecosystem, which is a natural environmental zone in which an organism lives. Hence, it refers to the natural environmental zone in which organism lives, where it finds food, shelter, protection and mates for reproduction. Niche, on the other hand, is that specific position where an organism resides in a community ecosystem. F figure 5 bill so, uh, shows the various types of the habitats we have. A habitat is not necessarily a geographical area. It can be an interior of a system, a rotten log, a rock or a clump of moss or a parasitic organism. It is the body of the host a part of the host body such as the digestive tract or a single cell within the cells of the host. Figure 5, we have the different types of the habitats like domestic, farm, forest, polar, wetland, tropical rainforest, savanna, oceans, desert, etc. Generally, the geographical distribution of the earth's different habitat types are determined by two key variables namely precipitation and temperature. Habitats are so classified into terrestrial and aquatic habitats. Aquatic habitats include the fresh water and estuarine and marine habitats. Terrestrial habitats include forest, grassland, cropland, desert habitat, etc. and is concerned with the microclimate, soil, chemistry, nutrient, hydrological cycle and productivity. The different types of the habitats are, we have the name of the habitats or the name of the biomes, region, flora and fauna. First biome is the tundra. The regions they are found are the northernmost adjoining the ice bound poles. Flora and fauna, they are devoid of the trees except the stunted shrubs in the southern part. Ground flora includes lichens, mosses and sheds. The Typical animals are reindeer, arctic fox, polar bear, snowy owl, lemmings, arctic hare, reptiles and amphibians are almost absent. Biome taiga, the reasons they are found are the northern Europe, Asia, northern America, but in areas of more moderate temperature than the tundra. Also they are known as the boreal forest. The dominant vegetation is the coniferous evergreen, mostly spruce with some pine and firs. The fauna consists of small seed eating birds, hawks, fur bearing carnivores, little minks, elks, puma, Siberian tigers, wolverine, wolves, etc. Third, temperate deciduous forests, the reasons they are found are extended over Central and Southern Europe, Eastern, Northern America, Western China, Japan, New Zealand, etc. The temperature on an average is the moderate and the rainfall is abundant. There are generally the most productive agricultural areas of the earth. Flora and fauna. The flora includes trees like the beech, oak, maple and a cherry. Most animals are familiar uh, vertebrates and invertebrates. Fourth, we have the tropical rainforests. The regions they are found are the tropical areas of high rainfall in the equatorial regions, which abound with life. Temperature is the high. The flora and fauna, the tropical uh, rainforest covers about 7% of the earth's surface and houses about 40% of the world's plant and animal species. Multiple story of broad leafed evergreen trees species are in abundance. Most animals and epiphytic plants are concentrated in the canopy or treetop zone. 
Fifth, the savanna biome, the regions they are found are the tropical regions. Savanna is the most extensive in Africa. The flora and fauna, the grasses are scattered trees and a fur resisting thorny shrubs. The fauna includes a great diversity of gra grazers and browsers such as antelopes, buffaloes, zebras, elephant and rhinoceros. The carnivores include lion, cheetahs, hyenas and mangoes and many other rodents. Sixth, the grassland, the regions they are found are Northern America, Midwest and Ukraine, dominant by grasses, temperate conditioned with rather low rainfall. Flora and fauna, the grasses dominate the vegetation. The fauna includes large herbivores like bisons and antelopes, cattle, rodent, prairie, dog, wolves, and a rich and a diverse area of the ground nesting birds. Desert, uh, the reason they are found are the continental interior with very low and sporadic rainfall with low humidity. The days are very hot and the nights are cold. The flora uh, is drought resistant vegetation such as the cactus, cacti, euphor euphorbias, sedgebirds, many species of the reptiles, mammals and birds also occur. Aquatic habitat can also be broadly divided into the following biomes. We have freshwater ecosystem. The characteristics are the freshwater ecosystem are characteristics of as lotic, that means having flowing water, or lentic, that is still or stagnant water. Lotic water system include freshwater stream, spring, rivulets, creeks, brooks, and rivers. Lentic water bodies include pools, ponds, some swamps, bogs and lakes. They vary considerably in physical, chemical and biological characteristics. The estuaries, the characteristics are the coastal rays, river mouths and the tidal marshes from the estuaries. In estuaries, fresh water from rivers meet ocean water and the two are mixed by action of the tides. Estuaries are highly productive as compared to the adjacent river or sea. Marine ecosystem, the characteristics is nearly three quarter of the earth's surface is covered by ocean with an average depth of about uh, 3750 meters and a salinity of 35 parts per, parts per thousands, about 90 percent of which are sodium chloride. Now let us discuss the summary of the module. Ecology as we know is an interdisciplinary science involving various fields of other sciences and the arts to understand exactly how the ecosystem functions. Since the survival of an organism depend on the interactions of so many other factors, both biotic and abiotic factors, hence conservation of the whole ecosystem as a whole is prerequisite for the conservation of the whole diversity on earth. But unfortunately, in the recent past, the human activities has been the main source of degrading this ecosystem. The human activities like deforestation, urbanization has resulted in the destruction of this ecosystem. The study done by the ecologists help us to understand the environment around us and avoid the very destructive activities of the human. Thank you.